Hello, this is Father Andy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is Saturday of the 16th week in Ordinary Time. Today's also a special memorial. Today is the memorial of Saints Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. It used to be uh, the Feast of St. Martha, but uh, back in 2021, Pope Francis added Mary and Lazarus uh, to this, uh, this special memorial so that we can remember the three siblings together on one day. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet, listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, each year on uh, this uh, this special memorial, one of the things that we always do is we compare Mary and Martha and, of course, uh, talk a lot about the fact that Martha kind of gets the uh, the short straw in terms of how people view what's going on in this parable, that she's being chastised by the Lord for serving, but that's not it at all. It wasn't that she was serving, but that she was bothered by what Mary was doing and that she wanted Jesus to intervene in a family squabble. And uh, again, Martha was never condemned for serving him, but rather that uh, she was agitated and then wanted to have Jesus basically interrupt Mary from her time and to uh, uh, make her go to work with her sister. And so we can see a lot of different things uh, going on here. One of the things that's interesting about this parable is to look at it from a variety of vantage points, or not a parable, rather, but an account in Jesus' life uh, with Mary and Martha. And uh, there's this beautiful excerpt that's used in the Liturgy of the Hours, and it's basically by uh, St. Augustine. And I really think that it's a wonderful, wonderful way for us to kind of reflect in yet another way on what's going on, that Martha basically is one that represents how uh, we are living our lives here, Mary representing how we live our lives in eternity. So I'm going to read just a couple of paragraphs from St. Augustine and see if you can kind of catch hold of, of what this great saint is saying. And he says this, But you, Martha... If I may say so, are blessed for your good service, and for your labors you seek the reward of peace. Now you are much occupied in nourishing the body, admittedly a holy one. But when you come to the heavenly homeland, will you find a traveler to welcome, someone hungry to feed, or thirsty to whom you may give drink, someone ill whom you could visit? or quarreling, whom you could reconcile, or dead, whom you should bury. No, there will be none of these tasks there. What you will find there is what Mary chose. There we shall not feed others. We ourselves shall be fed. Thus what Mary chose in this life will be realized there in all its fullness, She was gathering fragments from that rich banquet, the Word of God. Do you wish wish to know what we will have there? The Lord himself tells us, when he says of his servants, Amen, I say to you, he will make them recline, and passing, he will serve them. Kind of a a beautiful little 
uh, nugget from St. Augustine as we contemplate a little bit more about Mary and Martha. And so one of the things we could see is that in many ways, Martha is, is one that symbolizes the church in action here in the world, caring for the needs of others, fulfilling the social teachings and the social callings of the church, something that is very noble and something that is very good, very right, very needful. In fact, Jesus spends a great deal of his time teaching, talking about the poor, the needs and the importance of the poor that we will always have among us. Mary, however, represents the spiritual side, the the side of devotion, the side of of, of living in relationship with God. And I think that while Mary does typify what we will have in eternity, I think also the, the kind of the uh, jarring back and forth between the two sisters is, is the church right now where we kind of can uh, go back and forth between serving and praying or worshiping. And I think we have to see that both are necessary But I think the other key is that Jesus is showing us with these two women that as important as the social teachings and social workings of the church are, that we must never disrupt the devotion, the the relationship, the worship, the sacramental centering of the church must never be jettisoned and must never be compromised as we serve others. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, this has been good, I think, for us today to see this and to recognize what God is doing in our midst, that he is again today stirring up in us both the need to serve, the need to be involved in the lives of others and to offer mercy and grace and all of that. But it is also important that we give ourselves completely to him as Mary did, that we might continue to offer ourselves in devotion now something that will be that one part of our life that we will bring into eternity. That is, as Jesus said about Mary, the better part. So may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.